Well, finally a little bit of break in the weather. So in the morning time when it's not as hot, I work on this metal pile, moving all that into the dump trailer. Plus all the Westphalia parts. I'm gonna put them all in here and uh, take them to the recycle. And uh, they'll make a half of a Prius out of it. <laughs> yeah, maybe half of a car, who knows. Yeah, they melt all that stuff down and the uh, parts of it are using it, but it began a lot of slag metal in there. So you wonder why the new cars aren't as good as the old ones. And maybe that's why, but it's still a good way. I mean, it's good recycle. Why not? So once it melts down, a lot of that rust goes away and all that, you know, but it's still kind of slaggy probably. But anyway, well, I can move this out now. You know, I just got to move a few things around. Like I got all my cutting stuff going on out there. It's easier. I got to cut somewhere. So uh, I got to figure out what the next thing to do is. I'm not sure. I mean, I've got these things to put on. I got to put spacers in here. Weld these on. I've got those things there. I got to put on still. I need to finish welding up these hinges. Put the hinges and drill the holes and all that. Place them in the right place. I think I marked them, but you know, who knows? I got to get them pretty close to being right because I'm going to use that again now. Just want to make sure it was actually coming. I didn't see email saying it wasn't. So, and I've got that in place there. I've got to clean all this out of here. I've got to get all the dust and metal dust out of here before it embeds itself into that. It'd be harder to clean. So, and then I've got the front end stuff to do. And I got all this nose, I got all the parts to do that. So I can take that out. I just haven't decided yet where I want to go because if I do that, then I'm going to have more stuff laying around here. If I put the quarter on, then that's out of the way, which is going to take a bit of work to do. I guess I could cut this off needs to be done. I think I want to take it outside for that. It's going to blow junk everywhere. So you guys look underneath here. It's all rotten all the way along there. So I think what I'm going to do is just cut off all the rotten stuff, treat everything I can, and then just put another piece on here, maybe a panel adhesive it on, sticking out to wherever it needs to be, and then take another piece and make a U-shaped piece here and then just panel adhesive it on there. The reason I want to do that is because it's hard to, you can't really grind when that piece of metal is here. It's kind of hard to get the grinder underneath there to grind out welds. And I wouldn't be welding down here. I'd be welding around the very edge to try and keep it from grinding it. So if I have panel adhesive on it, it has adhesive all the way from here to here. So there's more surface area the more for the leverage might be work might work better i don't know just thinking about it so that's my kind of my thoughts on that i have that to do also could repair the bottoms of these right that can be done any time though you know, could be done right before i put them in and like i said i still need to make those those will be take a few minutes but i need to get those done before i do this i need to do that probably do that real quick right now and then uh, start with whatever I'm going to do. Finish putting some filler on some of this stuff. Just and do a little bit of glazing on there. Kind of make that look a little bit better. I'm not going to get it perfect again. You know, just trying to get it to where it doesn't look terrible. It just looks okay when it's in place. And it's a door jam. I'm not trying to make that look like really, really cherry or anything. Some guys do, but I'm not going to on this. Door parts should be here probably in about a week or so. So that I can finish putting the dog legs on. But I do want to have the nose on first. So probably that's going to get pushed back a little bit. I got to put these corner pieces on before the nose goes on. So got to remove the nose and then do the corner pieces. You know, the bottom corner pieces, treat all this stuff behind her. There's going to be a lot of open rust. I have to repair a lot of holes and then I'll put the nose on. The nose isn't going to take me very long to do. The nose don't, they don't take very long. It's all the stuff that's behind it. That's where all the work is. 
there's this layer you got this thing here and then there's going to be repairs to the upper section so all that's going to be hand work and made you know piece made stuff patches that take a lot of time i mean forming stuff you guys saw in the last video that doesn't take very long to form parts you know patching them just takes all the time and if they're really complicated angles and stuff you know like stuff like if i had to make this piece or something like that that would take a lot of time to make you know it all depends on how perfect i want it to look i mean how exact you know how much how am i going to fix it with filler or if i'm going to try and make it formed all perfect like some guys do on their channels and i'm not going to do that that's not you know to me it's like why you know when i can fill it and make it look good and keep the filler within the reasonable means that's fine it's good enough it's gonna look great and it's gonna dry great it's not gonna change any of that stuff so to me putting all the time to making it all formed and perfect it just seems like a waste to me you know some guys they want to do all that that's fine that's the way they want to do it i'm not doing it that way anyway well, let's do something i'll figure out what to do i'll see you guys later on
All right, once I clean that up, it ought to look pretty good. Um, yeah, it's gotta do a little more to it. Of course, gotta fix all the rest of the stuff like this. Up here, the top hinge stuff, but at least the bottom, I kinda got that straightened.
All right, guys, while I'm clamping this down, I figured I'd do some talking. I haven't done much of that this video. I know, some guys are going, wow, that's great, thank you. <laughs> and some of us like, were like, oh man, dude, I, I want to hear what you have to say about stuff. And, you know, it just, it's a catch 22. If I do it, if I don't talk, then, you know, I get haters. If I, or not haters, I mean, none of these comments are really, haters are like, you're stupid, you know, you're an idiot, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. Um, saying that I, you know, say you know too much is probably true. So that's not a hate. But, you know, stuff that's like pointless comments like that, you know, really um, don't help much. But anyway, so I was saying, um, yeah, I... I, I use the, the skin zipper, if you didn't notice. Um, and I noticed that the shaft on this thing gets extremely hot. And it started to melt the plastic. Because I was using the small throat. The reason I was using this is I thought, well, maybe this won't do as much damage to this thing. And I thought this heavy, you know, long stroke one. This is, you know, if you look at them, they're different. You know, you know, you know. They're different, and uh, this has a longer stroke, so the piston, you know, hits harder. But I thought because this is plastic, it might break it easier, and I didn't want to break it right in the beginning. So I was using that one probably longer than I should have, and 
um, it probably did more damage to it than the other one. So if you're going to buy a skin zipper, I would try using a pretty big uh, gun. You know, don't get the little one. If you don't have one. Definitely buy a big one, right? This might put a dent in it, but I'd rather have this thing on here good. Yeah. Can always fix dents. They're easy to fix. You can put a piece of metal on the other side, but I'm too lazy. So there, I clamped it in the middle. Just got to clamp it in a few more spots. Let it sit overnight. And it might be warped. Who knows? Probably. And then I'll just straighten it after that. So anyway, I think the groove in these things is set up for like 22 gauge. And I was having trouble getting it to seat into the smaller groove here. So that was why it was taking me so long to do it. Anyway, but once I got it going, and once I used, realized using the bigger gun is the trick, um, I'll probably put a review up on somewhere. Something to try to get people a little bit of help. But anyway, yeah, I got this thing uh, all straightened out and done. And it's pretty exciting. This is this was like a kind of a kind of a big deal doing this thing. What I'm gonna use for this. I'll bring you guys back in a minute. I'm gonna figure this out. I gotta do some thinking. Can't work and thought, talk and think at the same time. Yeah, I think that'll, it's gonna work on the other side. All right, I got that all set up there. It can just dry. You know, it, it, it could follow something. I don't know. I'll just straighten it out when it gets done. These supports, um, that can be bent, you know, after it is all dry. So. Anyway, I'll put a link in the description of the skin zipper. Um, I, I just want to let you guys know, I, if you didn't notice already, I know a lot of guys have jumped on the bandwagon already. I am an Amazon affiliate now. Um, the, what that means is that that does not, not mean that you have to buy what's on the link. If you use the link to go to Amazon and you buy anything, anything on Amazon, uh, it will contribute a pennies in the jar uh, towards Mike Effing Garage so we can use that to build cars. It, it does help. It's a very, very small amount of money, but it does help. And any of that that you're like, if you're going to buy something, use a link, go to Amazon and buy it through our link. It'll help the channel. Throws a few pennies in the jar. Doesn't cost you anything to do. A lot of people don't know that you have you, you don't have to buy what is on that link. You can buy anything, just so you know that. Um, hopefully everybody got that one, didn't just click ahead. <laughs> it got that whole information. But yeah, anyway, this thing's done. That's done. Now I've got these in. You saw that. We'll get back to here. Got these in here. I was making spacers for here. To weld this in so that's pretty much in place i am ordered a shrinking dolly for here because this right here i can't heat that up anymore it's not going to shrink so I, I got a shrinking dolly i'll show you what that is later on in the videos it's kind of cool i don't have i didn't have one for all these years i've never really needed one because i've never had to shrink something in this narrow of an area I'm hoping it'll do the job and I've got this piece made here. So as soon as that stack lid dries tomorrow, can't touch it today. As soon as that dries, and I used panel adhesive on that. The reason I did that is because then it can't have corrosion between the layers. That's one of the issues I'm worried about. Because even though I got pretty much got the rust off of there, uh, that's going to be, you know, and I painted the backside of all the metal. Probably should have seam sealed all the little weld pieces, but like I said, this thing's gonna have a different life, hopefully, from here on out. 
so it's not going to be outside and every day and neglected and used like it was so i made this pieces for the top edge for the rubber to go on to uh, again i'm not using the rubber that's actually going to fit in here so there's a little i didn't round it all the way i just kind of um, made it go i don't know a little bit of it you can see so the rubber will just kind of sit in that's just kind of strengthen it make it so it doesn't want to shut the doors and just bow in I did that. Uh, I got a few more things done here. I still got to do that piece. I got an idea for what I'm going to do up here for this piece to go across. Uh, that was kind of hard to figure out. Because what it is, is this piece of layer right here goes straight out and is under here. And then this piece makes like a U shape. This piece up here makes a U shape and lays on top of that piece, the top side of this, that protrudes out from what I can tell. So I've got to, you know, I, I, it's hard to say what to do with that. You know, I don't know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put a piece on there and weld it onto here. And then I may, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Remove all that rust. I gotta get, I, I, I can put panel adhesive on here maybe. I don't know if I grind it down and then the panel adhesive actually will it won't rust through that. It takes quite a bit for it to do that, so it's pretty anti-corrosive as well. So that's what I'm I'm thinking about that. Maybe panel adhesive it on her. I don't know. Just something something in there. I could paint this, sand this down and paint it. It's already treated so it won't it won't rust. But if I sand it down and paint it. And just put a stack another piece on top of there maybe maybe what i'll do i don't know haven't decided yet and i might just cut right along here right along there and then just make an l make a u piece actually a u piece and just lay it on top of that one lay it on top of here and just feather up with filler and i'll probably do that with panel adhesive because the reason i'm going to do that with panel adhesive is, is trying to grind the welds there is going to be like near impossible to do so little things you got to think about anyway that's about it for this one talk to you in the next video guys and let's look around we got to get uh i think this thing probably thinking like the next video i, I might I might be saying goodbye to this so and we'll put that as a thumbnail all right all right talk to you in the next one please like share and subscribe